Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this awesome glowing LED emblem light. Nice. To start with, I purchased this thick A5 sheet of acrylic from eBay. For the base, I found this plastic lid from a Lego box. Now, you could use many things for a base, but I decided to use this as it's hollow underneath and you can easily cut into it using a knife. As you can see, the acrylic was thick enough to fit perfect in the centre. Now, all that was needed was to mark out where to cut and use a Stanley knife to remove the strip of plastic, leaving ridges at each end. There we go. Once I'd done that, I smoothed down the edges with a file so that the acrylic would fit nicely. Now I'm a fan of Batman, so I found this nifty plastic stencil which I'm going to use to help carve the design onto the acrylic. If you're good at crafts, you could create your own stencil and carve out whatever design you like. I then positioned the stencil and taped it to the acrylic. Before you carve out the design, make sure to place the acrylic on something soft. This should prevent the back from scratching. To actually carve out the design, I'm using this cheap rotary tool which I got from a local DIY store. For the outline, I used the pointy rounded end piece, and to colour in, I used the sphere piece. So basically, I carefully etched in the stencil using the rotary tool. When you're doing this, there's no need to be heavy handed and you don't need to carve it too deep. You just need to rough it up enough to make it look like it's been etched. Not far away now. Once that was done, I removed the stencil. Looks good! I made a slight error here, but overall I was pleased with the outcome. After that, I secured the base to the acrylic using hot glue along the slanted edges. I still have a load of these colour changing LEDs from previous projects. So I chopped off a small strip and then added hot glue at each end and stuck directly underneath the acrylic. There we go. I then figured out where I wanted the external cable to go and filed out a groove so that it fits through. It's all pretty simple. And now it's ready to test out. Nice. I might just put that on my bedside table. So there we have it. How to make an LED emblem light. I'll see you next time.